Hi. Hello, this is Mr. Bergman. Guess what we forgot today? We forgot the tripod! Yeah. So Mr. Sams is holding the camera, making you sick to your stomach. And now I'm upside down and now upside right. And oh, Mr. Sams, that is just way scary. Yeah, I need a shave. You know what we're going to talk face. about today, Mr. Sams? Yeah. yeah, what's that? Uh, vapor pressure. Oh, yeah. You know, vapor pressure is kind of like pressure. So yep. when I take your head and uh -huh. I squish it. Ah! Ah! And I hurt him, you see, yeah. and that's uh, vapor pressure. But that, actually, that's not just pressure. We want to talk about, that's painful. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you want to look at his eyeball? What color are his eyes? You can see very clearly. I think we're going to start the podcast. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> All right. So today, we're going to start talking about um, solutions, phase diagrams, etc. Chapters 10 and 11. And actually, uh, if you read on, uh, we'll do 21 and 22, too. This actually, is a whole 21 one. and 18. No, it's, it's 22, 22. No, yeah, it's in the new book. In the old book, it was 18. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I'm right. I'm always right. Mm -mm. Yeah, we'll check. I'll prove it to you. No, I'll prove it to you. I just made all the answer podcasts. I know, but you were wrong. Okay. No. All right. Hey, so today we're <laughs> just going to tie up uh, Chapter 10. You so, know what it is? It's 22 and 18. 22 is organic, and 18 20. is nuke. Oh, I think you're right, actually. Yep. Yeah, you're right. We're both wrong. I think we're both wrong. Yep. You're right. Oh, today, vaporization. Hey. All right. What the heck is vaporization? Well, vaporization is when we're going from the liquid, liquid to I can do that. the gas phase. The gas, yeah, okay. But at it's, its boiling point. At its boiling point. Yeah. Okay. Now, like, water boils at 100 degrees, right? Yeah, if we live at sea level, yeah. But, like, other things, boil, they boil at 100. Everything boils at 100, right? Uh, no, just water. Just water? Mm-hmm. So other things can boil at different temperatures? Uh-huh. Okay, that's important to know, guys. It's very important. Don't get stuck on 100 unless you're dealing with water. And that only applies at sea level, even for water. Yep. So that's different. Okay, evaporation is kind of a little different. Yeah, we're game. still going from a liquid to a gas. Okay, a liquid, I can do that to gas. But this occurs at a, uh, when we're below the boiling point. Okay, so, and you guys know that. If you take a, a, a beaker of water and you leave it out overnight, um, it will uh, evaporate. Yep. It evaporates pretty quickly where you live because yeah. you live in a dry climate. But if you're in a uh, more moist climate, um, it would evaporate more. Slowly. More yes. Slowly? Slowerly. Slowerly. Yeah, something like that. Hey, and boiling is even kind of a different thing. Uh, that's, of course, a liquid uh, to a gas. Mm -hmm. huh. so, yep, but, and that happens when the vapor pressure that's when is the vapor pressure. equal to the atmospheric pressure. So, folks, there's two ways to boil a liquid. Liquid. We're having a hard time talking today. So. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, if you lower the pressure, you can boil a liquid. Yep. So, Mr. Sams, if you were like step outside... Uh huh. Um, from the space shuttle. Let's say you got one of those teachers in space things. Yeah. And um, you said, you know, I'm going to go outside the, the space shuttle. Oops, I forgot my suit. And you decided to jump out there because you forgot your wrench out there. Yep. Um, while my bag out, of tools was floating tools. away. My $150,000 bag of tools. So you said, I'm just going to hold my breath. You know, I'm pretty good at holding yeah, my yeah. breath. What, what's going to happen? Now? I'm, I'm going to boil. Yeah, your blood would boil. So that would not be because you see the pressure outside. Of in space. Very, 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 low, very low, almost zero. So yeah, his blood would boil and he would die a painful death. So yeah, so vapor pressure. Here's essentially a cool picture of vapor pressure. You can see um, that these are molecules, and of course they are evaporating, and um, some of them are just floating around in uh, in the flask, right? Yep. And it exerts a particular amount of pressure. Yes, particular meaning it's measurable and predictable. It's and an amount. Yes, yeah. and at different temperatures, it's a different pressure. Yeah, the pressure varies with the temperature. There's actually curves, and we'll show that in just a second. Oh, we need a microphone, Mr. Sams. I bet it would be better if they could hear me. So, folks, we're, uh, I'm here with you live. Well, I'll record. With a vat of boiling water. Mm. Boil, boil, boil. The atmospheric pressure is equal to the vapor pressure. vapor pressure. And you can actually see the vapor coming off. You see the steam right here. I don't know if I were to kind of put a, a blue background on this. Is that easier to see, Mr. Sanders? Probably, yeah. Can you see the steam better now? Mm. Maybe not? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, uh, you can see the steam coming off. And so the liquid is turning from a, well, liquid to a gas. And it exerts a pressure. Now, to illustrate the pressure, I happen to have a stopper right here. I'm going to place the stopper in the flask, and we're going to see what happens. I have a feeling I should have safety glasses on. Yeah, I have safety glasses on. <laughs> and so camera. I'm going to put, ouch, that's very hot. Yeah, don't touch that. Yeah, okay. What'd you learn from that? All right. So watch what happens. Probably need a better seal. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> so it pops the top. It sometimes can be more explosive than that. But of course, what was causing that was the extra molecules of gas that were in the vapor state, and they caused 
the top to pop off. Do it again, do it again. All right, again, again, again. A little better seal and not try and burn. Now me. that I have my safety glasses on. Ah, that really is hot. It's boiling hot. All right, so that Mr. Bergman is going to stand back here. The pressure you didn't get it too hot, did you? You're too hot. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it could get very interesting. Shattering into a million. Shattering into a million. Oh, oh there, there we go. Okay, so we make a little explosion. Yeah. So, very simple. Vapor, liquid, goes from a uh, to a gas, and we now have discovered uh, the concept of vapor pressure, and that we can actually use vapor pressure to uh, knock a stopper off the top. And so you can see the concept of vapor pressure, and that was at a higher temperature. And so I bet we could uh, make a, a judgment here. What do you think about it? vapor pressure and temperature? Uh, temperature goes up, vapor pressure goes up. So if temper goes up, temperature goes up, <laughs> then the vapor pressure goes up. All right. All right, now we could actually call this, when it's boiling, something called the heat of vaporization or the enthalpy of vaporization. This actually is a number. Mm. So if I were trying to measure, measure how much um, heat it takes to boil a particular liquid, it's called the heat of vaporization. It's the delta H of vapor. Okay? And for water, which we were just watching boil just a minute ago, I believe it's 2.26 joules per Oh boy, I don't remember the number. Not, not that I'll important. Yeah, not that important what that is. Okay. Now we should also then talk about condensation. All right. What is condensation? We have a little typo here, it looks like. But condensation is when you have a gas turn into a liquid. All right. Now we have a, a situation where we can have a, what's called equilibrium. All right. So what we've got going on here, folks, is um, let's say that I have a flask. And actually draw this picture, and we'll, we'll show it in real life in just a second. And you've got a liquid right here, and it's a sealed system. So you put a stopper in there or whatever, right? And so some of that liquid, that's a liquid, some of that liquid is evaporating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But then also some of it is... Recondensing. Condensing. So if it's at a particular set temperature, you have both condensation and evaporation taking place. This is called the equilibrium uh, vapor pressure, or sometimes this is called a dynamic equilibrium. Yeah, because at that state, the same number of molecules are leaving the liquid phase and entering the gas as are leaving the gas and becoming a liquid again. So if we go back to this picture, you can see um, this actually is a, the picture of the dynamic equilibrium. Some of them are evaporating. This molecule is evaporating, and this molecule is condensing. Mm -hmm. And this would be a system where it's at equilibrium. Yep, there's three going in and three going out. Yeah, so that's equilibrium. Okay. So if we want to look at this um, in real life, so I have the flask right here, right? The flask that we uh, were just looking at, and I put the stopper and I took it off the uh, off the hot plate a few minutes ago. And what's happening, of course, is that some of the water is evaporating. Now you can't really see it evaporating, but it is. And then you see some condensation. Actually, if you look on the outside of the flask, you're going to see condensation. And so it's both condensing and evaporating at the same time. In fact, if you look over here, I can see a drop of water dripping down. And so it's this is at equilibrium. It's kind of changing to some degree because this is now cooling. You can see me using the the uh, hot glove because um, this is quite warm. I don't want to burn my hand. But you can get the idea. Okay.